Hello and welcome back to uh, my Paprium stream series. Um, I said last time that it was probably going to be my last Paprium stream, but uh, I decided to do another one, uh, this time focusing on some of the secret and hidden uh, aspects of the game. So um, yeah, I'll be playing with one secret character, I'll be trying to unlock another secret character, and along the way we're gonna follow some hidden paths and find some other secrets. So. Uh, yeah, let's continue with my original play. Uh, as you can see, I have two characters throned, which is Alex and Dice. Uh, I did have Tug throned as well, but I had to unthrown him to be able to play again and unlock this character, Baba. He is a boss that you encounter in the low levels. And as you can see, he has very high power. He's almost as strong as Tug is. He has very high speed as well but his defense is very low and he also has a very short life bar, so he's a fun character to play with. Um, let's go. start with this level again, which we've played a million times by now, but there is one trick here that I'll show you. Here, you can just skip right to the ending of this level <laughs> by moving left instead of right at the beginning. Which is very convenient because you end up replaying this level a lot of times and it gets boring, so you can just skip the most of it. There we go. Boss battle. And 
and that's level one complete. Intercom. Now, one of the things here, uh, you can see these NX terminals, they have been activated. Uh, that's caused by unlocking Baba. And we can use it to warp to another level, but we're not going to do that now. We'll probably do that later. Right now, I just want to play through this level and go to the low levels. down to the low levels first. One thing about Baba, you cannot actually uh, hold items with him, he'll just throw them in immediately. So if I pick up this knife, he just throws it instantly. It has an interesting effect on some of the weapons that you can pick up. For instance, the uh, fire extinguisher does something really weird when you pick it up with him. Ha <laughs> ha 
boss battles get kind of easy the more you do them um, the early bosses at least final levels are still pretty challenging <laughs> start is only for a second player and uh, I don't have a second player available right now I'm just gonna have to do this on my own and accept that there's gonna be a blinking press start all the time Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, another branching point. I'm gonna go even further underground. Because that's where you have to go to unlock the other secret character. I'll be replaying some levels that I did on my last stream as well, but you know, that's just how it goes. I, I promise there will be more um, new levels as well. And we're gonna take the tram. Too difficult. Although Rondo does take a beating. And his hits hurt a lot. Uh, if I die, it's uh, not permadeath. You do get continues, but uh, the game over system is a little bit complicated. Um, I uh, made sure to collect a bunch of lives before starting the stream so I don't have to deal with game overs this time, at least if all goes to plan. Um, which it probably won't, but, you know, um, at least I try to prepare for this one. Oh, <laughs> 
wearing this armor feels very slow compared to Baba's normal speed. <laughs> but it does do a lot of damage. They can do, they're hard to hit and they will do a lot of damage if you let them. Plenty of blue pills, so it's okay to use one every once in a while. Hello! Yeah. Alright, the blue bar, another NX terminal, but we're not gonna use that. I cannot actually pick up the lead bars with Baba. Just does nothing with them. Doesn't even throw them. I have a max of 8 blue pills anyway, so I'm already at the max, which means that any other that I pick up right now is just wasted. Oh yeah, he has the fire extinguishers. Look what happens if I try to pick it up. Just crazy all over the place. Oh, and I died. Very nice. Yeah, that's the danger of those things. Oh. 
Seems like it. Um, if you try to pick up an item, he'll throw it immediately. And in case of the fire extinguishers, it just goes haywire. Which can work in your favor, but it can also pack fire. As it did just now. See how my blue pill count doesn't go up, it stays at 8, so 8 seems to be the maximum. Also finally figured out what these tied up guys do. Um, if you free them a little uh, cross icon gets added above your health bar and they will add up and if you free five of them you get an extra life. That seems to be the only purpose of those uh, tied up guys. These guys are really a piece of cake. They can do a lot of damage, but uh, with Baba's speed, you can just easily intercept them. Okay, this is the map that it's all about. Powder Zone. I have something of a love-hate relationship with this map because I love the music and the look of it. But I hate, absolutely hate all the enemies here. Got way too many of those electric uh, ladies with their whips. <sighs> and the boss of this level is an even worse version of that. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
This is the area that we're looking for. You see this bust here, and uh, here there's a lock. And that lock is the one that we need to break. But first we need to destroy the horde in this area. If I hit the lock, it will move, but it doesn't break yet. I mean, I can try, but it doesn't. It doesn't budge. That's what we wanted to do. Up to the low levels, yes. Now we get an alternative route through this, uh, through the map. Up on this walkway. Battle time. Yep, it's the same boss as we normally get on this level. Electra. And she is still as annoying to defeat as ever, because I think how it works is that one of the four can be in can be hurt. And you need to figure out which one that is. 
And I keep track of her. Baba seems to be impervious to those uh, electric blasts, which is very useful for this fight. I did not even realize that would come in handy so much. I mean, it's obviously not impervious to normal hits, but there we go. And now, Electra will ask if she can join us. Yes. And that means we can now play as Electra. Once I complete this run, though, that is. So yes, Electra is the uh, fifth secret character in this game. And I haven't played as her yet, so I'm curious to see uh, what she plays like. And also, we are not continuing on the underground levels now, we continue on the low levels. We moved up back up a level again. Also interestingly, Baba is normally the boss of this level, but since we're playing as Baba, he can't be the boss, right? So let's see what uh, what hidden secrets we'll get at the end of this level. Oh, my God. 
level boss, that one. See how I now have two crosses above my life bar. Again, if I get five of those, you get an extra life. boss characters that we haven't seen yet. Question marks, okay. They don't really have a name. Twin bikini ladies. Hitting his crotch in the background. Um, seemed more like he was smashing his hips, like just cheering us on. But whatever, you can make it into whatever you want, <laughs> I guess. Okay, so next level should be the docks, yes. Incidentally, this is also the level in which you unlock Baba, so you can actually unlock both secret characters in a single run. But clearly I didn't do that.
see Baba has very low defense stats so you really just want to avoid getting hit altogether because if you do get hit it hurts a lot. monster again. that contains a secret entrance to unlock Baba. I'll show you in a moment. But we're not actually gonna follow that path this time. Okay, there's a panel here, and if you, you can actually break that open. And that will take you to mid-levels. Another alternative path, and you'll fight Baba there. But we're not gonna do that this time. We're just gonna continue on the, the low levels. Oh, my God. 
Hospital time. Ah, uh, yes, Torch with his flamethrower. Okay, he didn't even get to use his flamethrower. <laughs> I noticed that enemies take a lot of damage when they're stunned, so if they are floored like that, and you to do a multi-hit attack like uh, your dash attack or a jump attack, it just does a ton of damage to them. That's what I uh, made use of just now. Okay, this is the final level of the uh, low levels. Normally this is a pretty long and difficult level, but since I already have a character thrown here, should get an abridged version of it. Stupid falling in the hole like that. It just takes half my health off. Oh well, they have plenty of lives, so it should be fine. Oh! Did it again, damn it! Baba's just too fast, he jumps all over the screen. It's a little bit easier to cheese here, you can just throw, push him down the hole the whole time. He won't be able to do much back. There we go. Oh! 
mission in a different level. time. Ah. Big Mario again. Lu looks more like Big Luigi now. cross between Luigi and Wario, I guess. Doesn't matter, he's dead. And that is our path complete. It's a very different uh, kind of flow from a normal playthrough just alternate paths and a different ending as well uh swap throne yes i will actually go uh, swap throne with dice because i want to free up dice for another playthrough so i'm going to do that and let baba sit on the throne here yeah. and now save my progress Hey. <sighs> And that's all the characters unlocked, so now let's uh, just have a quick play with uh, Electra. Scan! So Baba is throned, dice is free again, and we can place Electra. She has very high power, average speed and defense, and a very long health and blue bar. That's interesting. Let's see what she plays like. And oh yeah, another thing that I noticed, there's a some hidden secret life here behind the bed. She only kicks. <laughs> she has a cannon. Sp 
spike light move. So yeah, we can just skip the majority of this level again. Does she like bite opponents when she like it? When you hold them. I guess it makes sense that she's immune to electric attacks as well. Intercom, and here we have our next terminal again. This time we are going to use it. All a shuttle, I guess. And that brings us straight to Juvenium, which is the first level of the skyline path. multiple ways to get to the skyline area. Um, this is by far the quickest way. Once you have Baba unlocked, you can uh, use those next terminals and you just instantly get transported here. Break open this door as well. Use a blue pill. I don't really want to waste it, but let's just give it a go. That's one sturdy door. Ah, forget about it. Oh. 
choice we are going to stay on the skyline go, go, go. Fortunate. Oh well.
Oh, you get that by picking up these glow sticks. Nice. I mean, it's ineffective against these blue blazer robots, but... That's pretty cool. with her either. This is a cool power though. If I pick up a blade with her, oh, she just throws it. Thank you. 
last time. Oh, those two ladies again. Ah, they're called Mona and Lisa. Right. Okay, they are pretty annoying. wasn't so great just to see okay uh well that's two levels from the skyline done uh next one is dignity ktv this looks and sounds like a club but i think i'm going to leave it there for this stream i will probably be doing a video of the uh, skyline levels later uh probably off stream but uh, you can expect that on youtube at some point um but yeah, this is all I wanted to do for this stream. Unlock the uh, last secret character and show some of the later late levels. And uh, yeah, we did that. Been streaming for oh, just nearly one and a half hours. So this is a good length, I think. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for watching. And I'll uh, see you again next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.